Okay, so I'm going to record this video real quick for anybody who bought one of these, which is one person as far as I know. If you go to their site, the reddragonzone.com, you can go to the keyboard section, their software and keyboard, and you can download this. And that will let you install this program, which can't be detected because I've got it plugged into the synchronizer. So I'm going to pull it out of the synchronizer and plug it into the uh, USB port on my right, my main keyboard. And um, this important distinction there is that uh, when you plug devices into the synchronizer, sorry, it's late, uh, it, they no longer look like the device they were. They, they, they get it obscured, which makes sense. So uh, what I tried earlier was creating a macro that simulated the turn sync on action. Uh, and then another macro that would hold down control and hit one of the arrows left or right to get me back to PC one. And, uh, this razor uh, keyboard does support storing macros, but, um, it, it didn't really work. And so I ran into a similar situation with the uh, razor mouse where it was clearly sending the commands, but because they were coming from the mouse and not the keyboard, they just didn't work. So I, I thought, well, I've got this red dragon thing. Hmm. I'll give that a whirl too. Uh, and as it happens, it actually worked. So once I got this thing installed, I went to the macro section and I created three macros. One called sync that just taps control, scroll lock, and hits zero. And I made a second one for next PC that holds down control, hits right arrow, let's go of right arrow, let's go of control, which is how you go to the next PC over. And then I, I did the same thing with the opposite direction, called it last PC. And so I just like clicked, you know, I clicked G1 and I went to macro setting and I picked sync, hit okay. And then for G2 and G3, I set them to next PC, last PC. I should have waited until tomorrow to record this. Hit apply. And so um, if I go into Discord, I've just typed some gibberish. If I hit G3, it should go to the front of the second ASDF. And so if I basically do you know, these two, G2 and G3, back and forth, that works. It's doing what it's supposed to. So then the, like, the real question is, does it work when you unplug it from the main computer and plug it in the sync or the, wherever you're plugged in and then plug it in the synchronizer, right? So I'm going to do that. Yeah. And now this is the part you're not really going to be able to see. Although maybe, maybe if I get creative with my camera, I'm going to, I'm going to let you see my messy basement. Now I'm going to come back around here. I'm just going to show you the KM sync while I hit these keys. So if all those lights go on when I hit you on, synchronization tog is basically being turned on with one key. And then if I hit G2, it goes to one. And if I keep hitting G2, it cycles through. And if I hit G3, it goes back. So there is a use case for this thing because these are one button key presses and especially with the case of turning synchronization on that's awesome now i don't know about your password i'm not going to say whether or not i can type mine in on this but um you're probably still going to need a keyboard that you can somehow swap in and out of your other devices for any number of typing operations right because that's only part of it um and so I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I mean, I could type passwords on the laptops. It's kind of a pain. Um, and I, I unfortunately can't use my keyboard's USB hub because that, like that, like the keyboard plugs in with one USB port and then the hub plugs in with another. And, and there's only two. Hey, geez, this is my bedtime. It's 1.36 in the morning here. Um, there's only two ports in the front of this thing, so sort of sort of tight on on ports to use. So I don't know, uh, but it's really compelling to me to have the option to 
turn sync on with just one button and then cycle back and forth between the PCs with one button. Because while, while I was testing to th this evening, I ran a stream real quick and the first one was crap. because so I didn't t test my sound and the second one was all right. Um, you know, hitting scroll lock twice and then hitting zero, like that's, I got to take my hand off the mouse to do that in my right hand. And then, um, you know, the, the control left and right thing is pretty easy to do, but yeah, it's even better if you can only have to press one button. So um, it's probably a little weird that I'm recording a video and staring at myself and talking. But I thought that would be interesting. That's pretty cool to me. And uh, the Red Dragon definitely has a use case. I mean, other than just sort of being a keypad and being awesome. So I'm going to give this a shot tomorrow. But I'm going to share this with you because uh, you might uh, find it useful. All right, time for the infinity mirror.